adventures. All right, guys, here we go. Big shout out to Long Windy Road. I'll put a link up to his channel. Please check out some of the videos he's going to do on this. But we got the P365 X Macro and the P365 XL Spectre Comp. Now, it's interesting. They even consider this an XL because it doesn't have the same barrel length. But really interesting comparison. As you can see, they both have the exact... I'll line those up. They have the exact same slide. It is identical except for, well, the length is. They did some interesting stuff with the serrations there, but both of these weapons are safe and there's nothing in the magazines, but Long Windy Road and I just do not get it. We do not understand why this is so much more and so harder to find. Well, I thought it was 1600 MSRP, but it's not. That's just what they're going for right now. They're 1200 MSRP, while these are 800. So it just doesn't make sense because the only difference besides the shorter grip and the different markings is the, the nitride covered trigger, the coating on that, and the barrel is obviously better. It's got that nitride coating. So, but that's the only difference. Otherwise, this holds 12 rounds and this holds 17. This is just over uh, four, almost four and a half inches length. This is considerably longer. Um, obviously this mag will not work in here, but what is cool is that you can put a 17 round mag in here. What I don't understand is why these are so hard to find and why they're so expensive and why they didn't just offer one of these without the nitride finish and some 17 round mags with uh, a grip module to line it up. It, it's just weird. I mean, it's smart on their part. Another lame thing is this is the proprietary rail. This is the XL rail um, that you can only use proprietary stuff on. And this is a universal Picatinny rail, whatever, 1913. So, I'm going to take these to the range. Um, I'm not going to shoe a whole lot because I'm saving my ammo for this crazy ice warrior <laughs> that I'm going to be testing out there. Um, but I am going to shoot like 10 rounds through each one, maybe 12 since this holds 12. I'll put 12 in this magazine and just tell you what I think. Um, you actually get a good grip on here. My pinky isn't really falling off. Um, it feels good. So... I imagine this would be better shoot. This with the longer grip, obviously, to me, is more comfortable. Anytime I have a much longer grip, I, I shoot it better. But otherwise, they are very similar. Um, you know, a few people have, have done this, but I just don't understand why they made this in limited quality quantities, or it's just people want it so bad that you can only find them at $1,600. It's crazy. It is, uh, you know, I wish they would have put this out first because then maybe Long Windy Road would have just got one of these for half the price. So, but I mean, still, this is cool. I, <laughs> I have to say the barrel and the trigger are pretty neat. I do like the design on the serrations though. Spectre Comp, so they both have a compensated slide. There's no ports in the barrel. The slide is longer than the barrel. The air shoots out here and it reduces felt recoil. Supposedly, it also reduces some of the velocity of your rounds, but I think that's negligible. And I really enjoy shooting this. You can really tell that it's helping with recoil. So let's take them to the range. I'll let you know what I think. All right, I'm gonna test out 12 rounds each, Spectre Comp versus 365 Macro. So 12 rounds out of the Macro, I already know how this thing shoots, so I'm going to test it out. Man, that is smooth shooting. So, I have not shot this. This is the Comp, Spectre Comp. <laughs> it cost twice as much as that one did. Only thing I don't like is the 12th round was hard to load in that, so, and a little hard to pull back on that. The, the mags break in.
much of a difference. So, man, that's a tough one. I thought that this would shoot better because it's got a bigger grip. Um, I do like the coated trigger in the barrel on this thing, but man, people are paying so much for them. Uh, I have to say I would go with this because the grip was just enough to get my pinky on. I'd go with the Spectre Comp. I think it wins. And then you could use this 17 round mag in it. Um, so I have to give it to the Spectre Comp, but for price, I would get one of these. Um, I guess it felt slightly better with the longer grip, but this, this shot just is good. <laughs> Easy shooting with the comps there, compensated slide. So, um, pretty close. I'd have to give a slight edge to the Spectre though. It is a pretty sweet weapon, but pretty cool. I can't go wrong with either one, but I'm going to, I'm going to say Spectre wins. My name is Duke. I like to trade my guns just for fun, but now I have none. Oh, look at Chuck by the bear, but I don't care, I got a 10 millimeter. Shoot out adventures. Why should you almost die every time?